All right, hey guys, here we are, hole three. Now, what you may want to try to do on this one is bring your Guardian. It's going to have a little bit more range, especially if your Sniper is not a 10. That's even a better reason to bring uh, a Guardian for this one. I would imagine, yep, there's the uh, Tailwind. Now, this hole is kind of an interesting one. Um, I, I mentioned it on my first run through of expert you may want to just check out that guide just to hear kind of the lingo that i use and kind of describe in detail kind of the anomaly of this second shot what you'll see happen is essentially kind of a dead zone created um, to where you know when you move down to lower ground the ball will land short, but then as soon as you get up to higher ground, it'll launch. So you kind of got to find that nice balance between the two on this hole. Now you can see with what I have, it's about five top spin. And where I'm aiming, I won't really need much curl here. Let me go just a shade more than five rings here. Ah. Great ball is going to be just a little bit more leaning than I want. I'd rather favor the left side a little bit, but hopefully it still rolls out. You can see I'm just a little bit, a little bit short on what we want to do. So I may not be able to, to get up full onto the green the way that I want. If you have uh, power four balls, it'll make things a little bit easier, just in case you are a little bit laid off, as you can see. I was just a little bit too casual with that tee shot. And what that does is it's going to put me definitely towards max. And, you know, that, that, that kind of anomaly that I'm talking about is going to try to come into play if you can't put the target up on high enough ground. So it looks like I'm, I'm okay. So, but... You need to be really perfect. So you can't go here on the power. It'll never climb the hill, ever. And if I go full, it may actually be too much because it's going to land well into the green. The smaller you can get this wind, the better. The more control you have on the shot. So what you're going to see me do is try to pull as much. And if I can get that wind down to five, when I do this power shot, it'll actually be a better shot because what will end up actually happening is it'll close down that gap. So you see that I'm going a lot of power and it's landing into the green. If that wind's only a five and I do that exact same shot, it's gonna land well shorter, which makes it a lot easier of a shot. Because as I mentioned, you have to go a pretty substantial power. You gotta make sure that the target kind of lands up here. And there's kind of like a dead zone area where you can't land. Landing kind of right in here almost doesn't exist on that shot. It's almost impossible to do. It essentially creates a dead zone. It has to do with the way that the um, game handles clip, cliffs or even distance in general. Higher ground is always going to make the ball carry long, whereas low ground is going to always make the ball carry short which creates kind of a gap where you can't land in that mid zone. You're always either going to kind of launch a bit or you're just going to fall short on that shot. But here you see, you know, um, we're able to take advantage of this. And just going to run this into the pin here. <clears throat> so I'm sure you can take care of business there on that one. And it is a good opportunity for you to make sure that you get the eagle. You'll want to be making sure you get that one. Hopefully you guys are able to, um, especially headed in towards the weekend. You should feel comfortable with that shot. So practice it as many times as you can just to get a comfortable feel. Make sure that you also have that full backspin. If you only have like a Guardian 5, you may actually be kind of making a little bit tougher shot. You may want to just go with some kind of bump off the rough there with only one or two backspin. And 
Um, you know, do check out my expert guides. Check out both of them because it's going to give you two different shots. And in the event that you kind of wind up in no man's zone a little bit, it'll help you get out of trouble. So check those out. Good luck, and I'll see you on the next one.